Well, this is a, a project that's been in the works for quite a while, but it's called Hi, I'm Norman, the story of Norman Rockwell. And Robert Burley did a wonderful text, very kid accessible, about telling the story of his life and uh, how hard he had to work and uh, some of the great, highlighting the great events of his life. And uh, I must tell you, it's a daunting project for me because there's only one Norman Rockwell. But uh, I decided I had to be honest to what the kind of work that I do. So I just expressed myself as honestly as I could to tell the story. But we're doing this as an educational tool for the museum and for the next generation. Norman did such incredible studies for his paintings. The drawings are, are art, you know, unto themselves. And, you know, he spent so much time studying his subject, uh, taking numerous photographs. I think there was one painting where I discovered that he had 150 reference photographs. And he was never, ever satisfied. He was tirelessly working to perfect, you know, what he was working on. And I think out of the simple messages that are derived from his pictures, it's hard for people to realize how complex they really are and how much hard work went into them. He spent his entire life, seven days a week, you know, eight hours a day, doing what he loved to do and telling America's story. And I think that is a story that never ends and it's as timeless as anything can be. The way the book is written is short bursts uh, with, with quite a bit of information, but I almost had to resort to doing kind of a rebus style. Norman did a lot of paintings with white backgrounds and just isolated the moment, which is what I've done on a lot of these pictures. And uh, I, I just wanted to keep the rhythm going. There are a few, few single page and a few double page spreads, but to keep the rhythm going so the, you know, the text and the, and the pictures work uh, together to give you more than the sum of its parts, I think. What should an artist do when war comes? When President Franklin Roosevelt's speech inspired America to preserve basic freedoms for all the world, I fought back with one weapon I had, my art. I made four paintings and called them the Four Freedoms. I wanted to show what we were fighting for, freedom of speech and worship, freedom from want and fear. I did a little still life of some of the reference drawings and one of his early sketches. Rockwell's wife, Molly, was very instrumental in having him look at the social issues of the day. I think that, you know, when the Civil Rights Act was signed, I think this proved to be a, a very inspirational image of that. And, you know, like many of Rockwell's paintings, you know, he can sum up the history of many events into one picture. And I think that's one of the, one of the really important things about his work. Stockbridge was one of his favorite places. As a matter of fact, the end paper in the book is tried to depict uh, Main Street with vintage cars that would have been around in the, you know, in the early 70s. And uh, this was his old studio. So I decided to hang you know, the American flag in that window. And he, he loved bicycling up and down the street. And I just imagined him doing this at the end of the book, is just riding off down the street. Um, and that was a, a fun painting to do.